<laughs> oh, what's so funny? Oh, just a one-man pulling machine. Oh, come on, it was only banter. Banter. Yeah, see, I get modelled up between banter and uh, and being repulsive to women. Oh, repulsive? Yeah, yeah. Well, let's talk about your track record then, shall we? Oh, come on. No. If you ask me, you're both as bad as each other. Well, just so you know, Dad, in your day it was a lot easier to pull women. You just got your club out and smacked it around. Hey, I had something a lot more impressive than a club. Yeah. I don't think we really want to know about that. I had charm. <laughs> For five minutes with me, most women were putty in my hands. Yeah. Mm, I see where you get it from. Hey, I'm telling you, no woman was safe from me. Where do you think the expression Jack the Lad came from, eh? I don't know, but right now you're more like Jack the Dirty Old Man who's making his son's stomach turn. You know what you two need, don't you? What, more lessons than how to sleep with women? You need a night out with a master. A master? Bruce Lee's dead, Jack. <laughs> You know, tonight might be the night. Your mum's behind the bar again, so um, why don't the three of us head for the loft? There's your cash, mate. And there's an extra 50 in there for a job almost well done. Much is. I don't know if we quite deserve the tip, though. You must have caught me on a good day. Well, if you're planning anything again, you know, weddings, 21st, bar mitzvahs, you know where we are. As long as you can guarantee the same quality eye candy. Sorry? The waitresses, especially the blonde one, Jessica. Not shy, is she? How's she doing? Oh, not too well, actually. We had to let her go. Well, Tony set them both. Little tip for you, my friend. Never mix business with friends or family. Only ends in tears. Wow! Just when I thought my mood couldn't get any better. Oh, save it, Sean. Yesterday was the last time. Last time for what? The last time that we kiss and make up and forget for one stupid moment how we really feel about each other. I still want a divorce. Anything else? Yeah. I also want a facial. I think we can fit you in. There'd be no point in asking who you're making the effort for, would there? No, no point at all. Please take a seat. Two fifty-two. Sorry, can I help you with something? Uh, no. Two sixty. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. What? I don't make a habit of staring at girls in pubs. Well, at least not on Thursdays anyway. I don't make a habit of paying for my drinks with shrapnel. Not on any day. Well, I suppose you've got a boyfriend that does that for you. I'm sorry, that sounded like a really bad line, didn't it? And wasn't it? A line? Well, it depends. On what? On whether a 20 stone meathead boyfriend's gonna walk in and rip my arms off. Meatheads aren't my type. It's funny, isn't it? You talk to a girl and it's somehow like you're coming on to her or something. So you were just being friendly. I guess that's one word for it. <coughs> what are you doing? What, you just bumped into me? I still can't believe you even came for this job. It's just to wind me up. Oh, is it that obvious? There you go. Thanks. See you later. Hey, man, this steak, is it rare or medium? Medium. Tony, what were you thinking? Well, I'm sorry, darling, but if you don't write it down properly, no, not that. I mean, putting Justin on trial. Well, we needed more hands on deck, especially that Jessica and Olivia had to go. Because you sacked them. A minor detail. Anyway, I'm more concerned with his competition. Nicole? Why, what's wrong with her? At least we know she's reliable. Yeah, she's great if you forget her brother's a convicted rapist. Yeah, her brother. The same brother that you used to employ. And haven't you heard don't make the same mistake twice? We've not got a problem with her work anymore, stop. For now. Don't you think Justin comes with just a little bit of baggage? Baggage? She comes with a five-piece luggage set. Starting early, aren't you? Well, mate, we're gonna need it. Yeah, I was, um, I was thinking maybe this isn't a good idea for me, uh, seeing as I'm on mate, the raid. we're in this together, okay? You're not getting out of it. I've got loads of other excuses to give you. Right, boys, are we set? Now, I've cleared it with Max for you to enter the club, so we are good to go. What, what are you going as? I think I carry the look off pretty well, don't you? It's a bit tight. Let's go. Come on. There you go. Me and Louise are like some kind of drug. You ain't gonna mess up, just can't help yourself. What if the drug seems hell-bent on divorce? Oh, it works both ways, trust me. She's all talk. Mm, she seemed pretty convincing. I know Louise better than she knows herself. Which she hates. Do you know, the more you talk, the more you convince me never to have a relationship with anyone ever again. What does any animal do when it's wounded? It lashes out. The last thing it wants you to know is how much it's hurting. Well, she must be hurting pretty bad. Yeah, well, it's our two-year wedding anniversary tomorrow. Two years? Right. And um, what'd you give her for that? I don't know, mate. But it won't be a divorce. Uh, 
I mean, I didn't know that he was going to pick up my can, did I? It sounds like it was just an accident to me. That's what I kept saying to them, but did they want to hear it? No. What about the kid, the Tom? He was fine. Probably a bit hungover. <sighs> Don't make jokes, Mel. Bad taste. But things will turn out, they always do. What? What's funny? Nothing. So, uh, but what is it you're studying? We're moving on to safer ground, are we? Good move. Sorry? General chit chat, small talk. No, I, I was interested. Uh, I managed a year at uni, but I, I dropped out. Don't dig too deep. You don't know what you'll find. Well, that sounds interesting. Does it? I'm not interesting. I'm a walking car crash. I think maybe that's the wine talking. I was raped, Matthew. You don't mind me calling you Matthew, do you? What? No. I... I'm sorry, I... I don't know what to say. Maybe I should have used that little icebreaker earlier on. To see what I did there. Made a joke about it. Maybe that's me trying to block out how I really feel, or maybe you're right, maybe it's the wine talking. What do you think? I... I don't know. Uh, who cares, anyway? All I know is that I need another shot. And that's where you come in. You think that's really a good idea? Come on. A girl pours her heart out to you and you can't even buy her a little shop. I think you've had enough already. How about I call you a taxi or something? I don't want a taxi or something. I want another drink. I'm sorry. If this is about the money, I'll pay you back. No, it's not. It's just... I don't think it's a good idea. Bye, then. Men, yeah. hey. Hey, when you said lock up your daughters, do you think someone hurt? That's what happens when you come to a club this early, isn't it? Well, you know what they say, boys, the early bird catches the worm. <laughs> when I had to catch worms, Jack, we had to catch birds. <laughs> uh, two pints of lager and an orange juice, please. <laughs> it's because I'm driving. <laughs> <laughs> boys, uh, two fillies, three o'clock. Does my mum know about this? Darren, Darren, over there. Did he just say Phillies? He's waving. Why is he waving? What are you doing? Dad, could you try and be a bit more embarrassing, please? Oh, you want the girls to know you're interested in them, don't you? Yes. No, no, you don't. You don't want to show any interest whatsoever. Women and girls are weird these days. Boys, it's all about the hunt. I'm telling you, girls love being hunted. Yes, but you could get put in prison for saying that. At least he's not talking to them, right? <sighs> right, boys. Games begin. Hello, girls. Monday. Yep. I heard from Becca. And? Sorry, why are you telling me? No, she's bearing it well. I just thought you might want to know. All I know, Justin, is you've got some nerve trying out for this job. Table four needs cleaning. Hey, well, there's not a bit of bias going on there, man. Right, Nicole's still peeling potatoes, is she? Well, if you've got damaged goods, you don't put them in the shop window. Damaged goods? How many times? You can't judge her on what her brother's done. I'm just being the voice of Joe Public. No, Tony, you're being your voice, the voice of an idiot. Hey, there's no need to get personal. The same voice that told Jess and Olivia they were fired. I stand by that decision. You were unreasonable. Pardon? Reason is my middle name. Finished! There's another bag outside. You should have left the running of this place to Dom. He knows what he's doing. Hey, now hang on a minute. I was here a long time before Dom came on the scene. I got a reputation round there. Yeah, and don't I know it? Going out. What's that supposed to mean? I know you said you only wanted a glass, but where's the fun in that, eh? Oh, you read my mind. <laughs> so, these mates you're meeting, what time are they showing up? Uh, later. Right. And even as pretty as you. <laughs> nah, just joking. Yeah, I don't know what time I'm going to stick around till. Things to do, people to see. You sound like a busy man. I wouldn't want to bore you with it. OK. Needless to say, this bane of my life... Really? ...never stops ringing. Listen to me waffling on. You haven't told me anything about you yet. What do you want to know? Vital statistics. No, joking. Anything. What you into. Likes. Dislikes. 
I'm into having a good time. Well, it's your lucky day. You just met the right man. supposed to be easy, is it? Well, I'm no expert, but isn't it all about compromise? Oh, all that's getting in the way is pride and stubbornness. Chop that and we'll hit gold. Who are we talking about here, you or her? You're beginning to sound like a marriage guidance counsellor. But probably a lot cheaper. Listen, if you want me to have a word with her, you know, put your side across. Why would you do that? I don't know. Maybe you caught me on a good day. Not interrupting something, am I? No. We're done here. Ah. Yeah, he's a belting lad, aren't you, belting lad, Craig? Yeah, I think you've mentioned how belting I am, Jack. Cheers. This boy, you know, but he's like a son to me. Unfortunately, I am his son. Girls of that, have you got any Scott in you? Uh, uh no. no. Really? Dad? Hey, girls, girls, come on, where are you going? Oh, what is wrong with you two? Us? Us. Yes! Come on, I'm trying to put a good word in for you here. You're trying to make us out to be a couple of nerds. I'm making you look like a nerd, aren't I? Well, don't come moaning to me at the end of the night when you leave here empty-handed. Barman? He's planning something, I know he is. Is that so bad? What's he said to you? All I know is that he cares about you much more than you think. <laughs> so he's obviously worked his magic on you then. What? Well, what was it you were saying the other night? Be careful he's not using you, and uh, don't repeat the same mistakes. Well, yeah, maybe I'll jump the gun a bit. No, that is what Sean does. He gets people on side, and then he just manipulates them. No one's manipulating me. See, you weren't about to just put his side of the story across. Tell me how much he cares about me. Blah, blah, blah. Actually, that was my idea. That's his other great trick. Making people think that his ideas were their ideas. You ask me, you two are a match made in heaven. I mean, all you seem to do is second-guess each other. Trust me, I know Sean better than he knows himself. And he hates that. It's over, Dom. So, your two-year wedding anniversary. Definitely be the last, will it? How did you know about that? He told me. Why? Did you not think he'd remember? Stay still. Eyelash. Make a wish. <laughs> well, it's a bit too late for that. What? It's not even ten o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, doesn't look like your friends are coming. No. No, it doesn't. That's all right. We don't need anyone else, do we? I'll drink to that. <laughs> you know, uh, you don't strike me as the kind of girl who likes an early night anyway. Really? What kind of girl do I strike you as? Well, there are good girls and there are bad girls. Well, what am I? Well, you're too pretty to be bad. <laughs> but you say that to all the girls. But are you falling for it? Well, depends if I'm the good girl you're making me out to be. There's only one way to find that out, isn't there? Are you coming on to me? Neil. Are you coming on to me, Neil? You don't win the raffle if you don't buy a ticket, Mel. So that's your game? You're trying to buy me? <laughs> First time for everything. Well, I don't come cheap. I bet you don't. So, uh, maybe we should go somewhere else. Somewhere where we can enjoy drinking private. What did you have in mind? Drink up. I'm sure I'll think of something. What makes you think Sean's gonna make me happy? I have been there before, you know. What happened to learning from my past mistakes? There's no two worse words than what if. Surely the last two years have got to mean something, don't they? He knows about this drink, does he? Well, I can mention it to him if you're up for it. What have you got to lose? The question should be, what have I got to gain? 
Yeah, all right then, I'll go for a drink. One drink can't hurt, can it? Do you reckon your dad knew that woman he was talking to before? So maybe you have to speak up a bit. The woman! Forget it! All right, boys! Fancy me dance, darling, eh? Hey? Hey? <laughs> oh, careful, love. Puppies might soon get the kennels, eh? You're about to get blood on your t-shirt. You just wear this. Zoppo! You're thinking a hard man when you're not! Right, it's my bad. You're not a simple, you boosters! You're all thick, ugly, and then... She doesn't mean it, he's drunk. I do mean it. Ah, here come the cavalry. Typical English. What fighting let's do number you? It's all right, we're leaving, OK? What about... Never mind. I am going nowhere. I've never run away from an Englishman in my life. I'm supposed to get a gold paper. Yeah, come on. I'll cheat a lawyer and pop. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. That's it, Justin. Keep up the good work. Why don't you just give him the job now? Well, I am tempted, Mandy. He's hardworking, polite, gets his head down and he gets on with it. You don't know anything well, about him. Well, I'm a good him. judge of character. There's more to that boy than meets the eye. Just help Nicole what she's doing. That's what I like to hear. Bit of teamwork. No, I ain't team. <laughs> I still think Nicole is a safer bet. You know, I don't see what you've got against him. I haven't him. got anything against him. We can rely on her. She already works for us. So she doesn't need another job then, does she? Anyway, Becca can't be wrong. Sorry? Well, she obviously thinks a lot about the boy, so he can't be that bad, can he? You know, I think I might have misled Tony a little bit, but I didn't think he'd go and sack <laughs> Jessica and Olivia. Not over what I said. Yo, that's their loss, isn't it? And my gain, hopefully. <laughs> anyway, I reckon he's all right deep down. Oh, is that why you're so far up his backside? And you're not going for the female vote? Yes, Mandy, no, Mandy. Which cheek would you like me to kiss? <laughs> At least Mandy looks like somebody you can trust. Well, I hope so. <laughs> so, come on. What are you waiting for? You won't believe this, but uh, I've never done this before. Not like this. So why don't I give you a helping hand? I think she might be ready to drop her guard. I very much doubt it. No, I'm serious. I reckon she's ready to talk to you. What about? Who gets custody of the kids? What? I was being metaphorical. Talking to her? I don't know, but I think you might be able to work things out. I've been thinking as well. I've been thinking, what's the point? Well, the point is you want her back, don't you? Yeah, but she's made it pretty clear she doesn't feel the same way. It's over. I've been wasting my time, Dom. Honestly, Sean. No, leave it alone, mate. I'm serious. Thanks for trying and everything, but I'm not interested anymore. It's dead. Yeah, but... Well, what are you doing tomorrow night? Do you fancy going for a drink in the loft or something? As long as a certain girl's off the agenda. Message received. I'll call you. Hey, oh. Whoa, whoa. Hello, girls. Uh, Look up irony in the dictionary. This is what you get. Well, just sit down, will you? Oh, Sandra, Sandra. Hey, boys, I'm all right. Really, I'm fine. Hey, put your back out. <gasps> which is nothing compared to what those bouncers would have done to you. Yeah, what? Those guys got lucky if I hadn't tripped. Yeah, you would have flattened them all. Yeah. I would have. Hey, you know me? I run from no one. <laughs> But just so you know, we're not taking any pleasure in your pain. Hey, boy, you learnt a few things for me, hey, hey, hey? Yeah, things I think I might not forget for the rest of my life. Hey, hey your old man hasn't lost it, has he, hey? Hey, Darren, Jack loves the ladies and the ladies love... love to throw their drinks at him. <laughs> Come on, boys. Come on, boys, you're not a bit of fun, isn't it, eh? I better make him a coffee. Yeah. Hey, Darren, Darren. Better be the man, really. So that's just what you need, isn't it? A bit more booze. <sighs> Craig. Oh, Craig, what, what was I going to say, son? Or... Computers! No! No, you, you were saying how, you know, it was just a just a bit of fun, that's what you said. Yeah, and that's all, that's son, just a bit of fun. So, listen, don't say it to your mum, eh? Come on, it'll be a bit of fun. Come on. Never harmed anybody, did it? Right, thanks for all your hard work. And remember, we're one step closer to making our decision. See ya. He's been watching way too much X Factor. Sorry, Nicole, what was that? Uh, nothing. 
Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow then. And if you could make a little bit more effort appearance-wise, that would be nice. <laughs> oh, what a day. Thought it was never going to end. Who'd be a boss, eh? Look, we've lost Jessica and Olivia. Maybe we should be looking at getting two new staff anyway. I mean, you obviously believe in Nicole and... Well, we don't want to fall out over this, do we? Who said we've fallen out? Well, you're clearly not happy. Oh, you worked it out then. Oh, this is stupid. Arguing over Nicole versus Justin. I mean, you usually don't get involved in staffing issues. There's more to it than that. You know, you always do this. If you don't get your own way, you get angry. Then you get upset. I say sorry and I back down. That's because you don't listen. Oh, here we go, round one. Oh, forget it, Tony. Just forget it. No, no, you've said it now. Come on, what is it? What am I missing? What's the problem? The problem is... Well, come on, it can't be that bad. Can't it? My best friend is sleeping with one of her students. How's that? What? I'm talking about Becca. She's having an affair with Justin. Where are you going? Home. Before I get a call from the wife. Wife? Yeah, don't worry. I wasn't just going to do a runner. Your money's on the side. Money? What, what money? There's 20 quid there, look. 20 quid? You thought... All right. There's another tenner. Don't ask for any more, OK? you make law-abiding citizens commit armed robbery? Darren Brown, The Heist, 10 o'clock tonight, E4. Next up, A Life for a Life, Switched, 